You know that thing in Windows where in File Explorer you right click on the drive on the left hand pane, select format, and then go through the prompts and format your drive? I want to do that in Linux from the command line, of course. This is something that can be done and in fewer steps. This is B from Tay Talk Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to format a drive in Linux. So stick with me. I've got a favorite ask. If you like this type of video and want to see more content like it, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell button for notifications. Also, Make sure you give this video a like if you like it, give it a dislike if you didn't like it. Make sure you let me know what you liked, didn't like, or if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or emotional outbursts down in the comment section below. And lastly, make sure you stick around all the way to the end to catch the examples. Uh, let's do this thing. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the desktop here. And we're, first thing we're gonna do is run a what is. We're gonna make fs, because that's the command that we're gonna be using is make fs, M-K-F-S for make file system. Now, what is? make file system. Um, it is a it is going to be an application that builds a Linux file system, it will allow us to format a partition with a file system. Now a file system is a method and data structure the operating system uses to control how data is stored and retrieved. And so it kind of is like a way of like the how the operating system organizes, you know, all of the data on the on the operating system and stuff like that. Now, the list of the list of supported file systems can be obtained by using mkfs and then just do a period and then hit tab a couple times and it's going to go ahead and show us which ones we have available to us now one thing i do want to start off saying is that you may not have all of them available like when i got when i pulled up mine the first time i did not have ntfs and i did not have xfat so i'm going to show you quickly how to install those if they're missing sudo and you would do your package manager in my case it's dnf and install ntfs progs and uh, xfat progs and they're already they're already installed on my on my system so they're not going to install them again but that's how you would do it if they were missing so let me go ahead and clear this out i want to show you the syntax of the makefs command it's a pretty quick it's a pretty quick process too when you actually use this command so instead of doing all those different steps, you're going to have just one command that you're going to execute. So you're going to use makefs dot, and then you're going to put the file system type, as you can see, and then the device. So let's go ahead and back this up here. We're going to have to actually enter a sudo, because you have to run this command with sudo, makefs period. And then again, there we go. So let's go ahead and we're going to do it three times. We're going to do, let's do ext4. And then we're going to do, I've got three partitions. We're going to do dev sda1. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and make that one. ext4, boom, yes, we got it all done. All right, let's go on to the second one, sudo makefs.ntfs, and then we're going to do dev sda2. All right, this one does take a little bit longer. So I uh, luckily I did make a smaller partition size. There we go, we've got it done. And then let's go ahead and do the xfat one, which is a super quick um super quick file system. So let's do a sudo make fs dot xfat. And then we're going to do dev sda3. Perfect, there we go. And we've got it complete. Yes, awesome. All right. So now now what I want to go ahead and do is I want to go ahead and show you how to obtain the actual confirmation of what file systems are going to be on there. That's going to be within ls blk tac f and then we're going to put in dev sda because we want to go ahead and put in just sda because we want to list all of the partitions underneath it because so we just do sda one it's going to only show us sda one so a uh, list block ls blk list block devices on a linux system and the f is going to show us the i should go with the f is let's do a let's do this together let's do an ls blk tac tac help we do a grep i we do those and then we're going to do a forward slash tack f and it's going to give us output about file systems and I, I was pretty sure that's what it was but i wanted to confirm that perfect and there we go i'm actually going to show that to you over here just so you can kind of get a little bit more info it's a little tight on that screen so let's do L uh, lsblk tack f dev and sda See, there we go got quite a bit of information here but we can see right here we got sda1 is ext4 
uh, SDA2 is NTFS, and then SDA3 is XFAT. So pretty freaking awesome, if I may say so myself. That is way easier than doing it the Windows way. Check out the previous video where I showed you how to partition a drive, and or check out this other video instead. Thank you so much for watching my video, and have the greatest of days.